Playing Roadhog is a lot like being the hottest chick at the club, mm, I assume. You use all the same techniques and it's the same underlying concept. They want your curves. But here's the thing, a lot of them are a little too shy to get it. But you got the tools to reel them in, quite literally. All it takes is the nice bait and hook and they'll be in your loving embrace face to face with your man meat whether they want it or not. Now look at y'all. You're right now! Okay, on second thought, that intro was a little too molesty, so we're gonna try and tone it down for the remainder of the video. As Roadhog, you're a big fat guy, and unlike May, you actually are fat and can take a beating. Your job is to be a fat fuck and get in the way of people trying to have fun. Someone playing Tracer? Ain't having that shit! Oh, is that Lucio trying to heal his team? Whoa, we don't want that business! Hold your horses, that's a fucking pro Genji over there! Pro at spreading his cheeks for the train that is... I... I mean, he's... Pro at getting hooked. <laughs> the man's got a plan, and that plan is to have a ton of health and shit out damage harder than the people he hooks have to choke on his. Fuck. Sure, Roadhog isn't the fastest character in the game, and any decent Pharaoh or Widowmaker can drop this fat fuck before he even gets close, but with his raw power and stamina, he doesn't have to do much to get you to scream in delight as he helps carry you and the team to victory. Okay, so we'll start with his primary and secondary fire. You shoot shit, your ammo is shit, you're literally just spraying around junk you found in the junkyard. But that's okay, because you put the garbage over there with the rest of the trash. His main fire is a shotgun spread. It covers a large area, has a short reach, but hurts like a bitch to anyone forced to take that chubby and suck it down. Oh, come on. The alternate fire blasts out a hot wad. Oh, for fuck's sake. The alt fire shoots a ball of crap at the enemies. It has the condensed power of the shotgun blast but covers a tiny area. It's great if you manage to land a headshot as that alone can drop squishies with one or two hits. His weapon packs a punch as do his melee strikes. Both go hand in hand with of course the main draw of the hog, his hook. The hook is a rather low cooldown and is the tool that makes up for his lack of mobility because who needs mobility when you're a hooker like Roadhog? That's Hit the key and Roadhog sends out a fairly length hook. If it hits anyone not sporting a Zarya barrier or covered by a Rhine shield, you'll reel in your prey all nice and close like. The general combo is just to blow your load and wipe it off their face with a melee. Jesus! However, this is also a form of CC. It will stop ultimates such as Ferris, McCrees, other Roadhogs, Reapers, and to a point Soldier 76 as you'll more than likely drop him before he has a chance to aimbot you. On top of that, you can stop other men from snatching your crushes, such as a Reinhardt trying to woo your posse. And we all know what happens after you save them from a predator like that. They appreciate your friendship and continue to enjoy spending time with you as you both have a mutual respect of each other's feelings and boundaries. Straight out of Dark Souls comes Roadhog Z. The man takes a sippy out of his Estus, or whatever it is, I'm, I'm not really sure. Similar to gym class, however, if the cool kids catch you taking hits off of your inhaler, you're sure to be the target of some harassment. However, unlike gym class, you are Roadhog and are strong, the inhaler allowing you to tank a lot of damage from lighter hitting targets. You can then go on to punish them for picking on you and not agreeing to go with you to prom. I'm looking at you, Jennifer. Basically, his eel lets him heal a bunch of HP. Use it to tank, use it to heal, use it often as its cooldown isn't as long as it should be. Combined with Anna, Lucio, or Mercy, Roadhog can easily become a wall that never dies, hooking in who he pleases as he takes his gold medal and everything. And that includes healing. Finally, the ultimate. What's that on the gun? Is that a hole? Well, Roadhog knows what to do with holes. Cram as much of his junk in it as he... <laughs> Your ultimate is a large repeated AoE shot in front of you. The bullets hurt and push foes back, which despite what it seems is actually insanely helpful. Instead of just doing a ton of damage, which it does do if you manage to land the majority of shots, it can be used to clear foes off of points or payloads, both on the offensive and defensive sides of the spectrum. Obviously, since it disrupts and moves enemies, it can be used to push dangerous foes out of the way or any foe off of the map. If you manage to corner foes, you can steadily increase the damage as they'll be taking the blunt of it as you shove their backs against the wall. The major downsides of Roadhog include, as mentioned before, his lack of mobility. His shots are slow, he's slow, and in the heat of battle his cooldowns can seem long. If you do miss your hook, you're at a significant disadvantage. Foes like Reaper can easily drop Roadhogs who have missed their mark, as the Hog's a large target, allowing him to take all of Reaper's shells as he easily follows you around due to your speed. On top of that, you could argue that Roadhog's shots count more than other heroes. His reload speed isn't the fastest, and he only has four shots, regardless of what method of fire he uses. So plan your shots, aim your hook, and don't take no for an answer. God fucking damn it!
right now.